वेलकम बैक टूडे वी गोइंग टू मेक ब्रोकली शामी कबाब्स बेसिकली अ प्योर वेजिटेरियन डिश एंड विद द फ्लेवर ऑफ मामी यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सम कंटेंट ऑफ यूरिक एसिड फ्रॉम ब्रोकली एंड दैट्स हाउ इज डिफरेंट इट्स अ न्यूट्रिएंट काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग फॉर द वेजिटेरियंस फॉर दिस यू नीड सोक्ड रेड डेंटल्स फाइनली स्लाइस्ड पोटैटोस रफ कट a uh, processed cheese ghee clarified butter that is uh, broccoli florets and stem if you have uh, coriander uh, grated cottage cheese or paneer uh, green chilies grated ginger or finely chopped ginger carom seeds which is ajwain and i have used uh, lucky uh, company's uh, shami kebab masala okay, i find all the ingredients are there i don't really approve of using ready made masala but nowadays the market has made it simpler and uh, to get all the ingredients to make a shami kebab masala it's pretty difficult you got to roam around and then the quantity you will not get so it's better uh, to get these ready made masala for specific needs uh, to a pressure cooker we are going to add the soaked and drained uh, masoor dal or lentil and uh, the uh, finely sliced uh, potatoes so that they cook easy and broccoli and if you see i have also put the stems a little bit of ghee on top and we are going to add uh, just maybe a teaspoon of ghee and then seasoning uh, with salt and uh, so this is a pressure pan on which we are going to cook uh, and we are going to add the shami kebab masala we have it shami kebab masala goes in this has all the garam masala that is indian whole spices along with chili you can always make your own uh, with chili powder and in goes the carom seeds or ajwain uh, we want basically the taste of original shami kebab which was made with mutton uh, it should melt in the mouth kind of a kebab uh, and as well as meat goes less in it uh, in this case it will be broccoli which gives you that flavor and very little water uh, just have a look at the quantity of the vegetables you have the water should not come uh, you know more than a centimeter kind of uh, content yeah so you can adjust uh, because excess water will sort of uh, make it too moist and it will be very difficult for you to form the kebab when you, when you mold it with your hand and the water has to be very less just about soaking the vegetable just about should not go above and we ingoes the uh, lid of the pressure cooker we seal that in uh, cook it on high flame till the steam escapes and put the lid on uh, we cook it for about two whistles and let the steam escape naturally and once it's done we're going to open the pressure cooker and uh, here you have all the dal masoor dal lentil Uh, the broccoli the broccoli stems the florets and the uh, potato are all into one body cooked and they can easily mash it with the potato masher give it a good mash uh you don't really have to use the broccoli stems but uh, i like it because it gives a little bit of fiber a little bit of chewiness to the mouth uh, as well as uh, flavor uh, so the quantity also increases that's another factor uh, so we mash it in really well and make it smooth as possible and uh, if you find that the moisture at this stage uh, is little wettish and uh, you you need to cook it a little further till it dries and then cool it before you use uh, now we move on to the stuffing uh, in a large bowl we empty the grated uh, paneer and to that we add the grated cottage cheese which we had uh, prepared and left before and then we add Uh, the green chilies i like to chop it finely uh, you know finely so that you know it it spreads well evenly and you don't get it too spicy in your mouth then add uh, chopped green chilies uh, chopped coriander to the mixture and uh, last goes the uh, chopped ginger give that a good mix with a spoon so that uh, the ingredients distribute evenly you don't want too many chilies in one portion and no chilies in the other so a good mix Uh, and this mixture what it does it, it when you stuff it into the shami kebab the broccoli shami kebabs uh, they sort of when you fry the heat makes the cheese melt and the paneer soften so we're just going to apply a little ghee uh, between the palms of your fan, uh, hand and uh, take a portion uh, around ball you can, you can judge it once you make the first one how big you want the kebab to be and uh, let the kebabs be uh, at a little height so that you know when you fry it it will flatten out Uh, spread that out, uh, flatten it the palm, the fingers, and then the center. You can put uh, a generous amount of stuffing. And uh, once that is done, you can just close the sides in. 
need a little mixture more you can just put a little mixture to seal off the end and uh, just pat keep patting and just circle it uh, like a cutlet uh, but a round cutlet and just seal in the edges and keep pressing and turning keep pressing and turning and seal the edges on the sides till you've got a seal kind of a neat shape kebab and put that away uh, for later so we're going to make all the kebabs this way till the mixture is exhausted and uh, arrange it on a plate flat plate and put it in the refrigerator because uh, the kebab has, contains ghee and ingredients which will solidify and you know harden inside the fridge so the the when you fry it the filling will hold uh, shape and it'll be easier for you to fry if it's too wet it will not so refrigerate is a must uh, before you fry the kebab here you have the kebab with a nice close up we're going to heat a pan uh, quite hot uh, shallow fry each kebab we add ghee to it because it's a, it's going to give you that richness of flavor it contains ghee everywhere we don't want to use oil on this and just turn it with a very thin kind of a flat spatula a metal spatula will do well and uh, that will give you a browning on both the sides and you want to cook it on a slow medium kind of flame so that the cheese starts uh, you know melting inside so that when you serve the cheese will melt out the moment you cut the kebabs so there the kebabs are more or less nice and brown looking sizzling and you can uh, take that out and get ready uh, to serve with uh, mint chutney and uh, garnish with a sprig of coriander uh, enjoy the kebabs with uh, paratha as a main course or just like a small size tikki like a kebab there you have it broccoli and uh, shami kebab uh, with mint chutney and coriander garnish don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, to my channel and click on uh, like share and comment look at that kebab the the cheese is just oozing out thanks for watching uh, till next time bye